and away they go. Not too smooth on the clutch from Martin as they head down to turn one. And is that James Catton who leads? It is on the care of Kawasaki. Oh, Riders down. Riders down. Oh, everywhere. Carnage. Oh, let's hope they're OK. Everyone seems to be getting up. One or two riders still on their backside. Someone by the fence being treated. But at least a half a dozen bikes have gone down. Here we go again. This is with Bruce Anstey, who looks as if he stayed out of trouble. Everything looking OK. Oh, two riders then come together. They both slide it left into the centre of the road and then the approach in the hairpin becomes a bowling alley with bikes everywhere. Guy Martin appears OK. Well, this is looking back from Guy Martin. Watch the left-hand side of the screen, the rider in orange. He suddenly drops it and takes, I think it's Dean Heinsohn down. Danny Matheson goes. This is from William Dunlop now this time. He's on the left-hand side, so we should see the machines sliding across into view if William Dunlop holds his line. There they go. Oh, my goodness me. Well, thankfully, it would appear that everyone is generally OK. I'm still not sure how many bikes went down. It appeared to be nine or ten, possibly more, possibly less. It's been a long time since I've seen so many hit the deck in any kind of race, on any racetrack, be it bikes, cars, whatever. It's Dave Hewson who's in trouble, and then from that moment on, it's carnage. Daley Matheson down, Dean Heidson down, Dean Harrison is skittled out, Ian Locker another two, so too Guy Martin. By the looks of things, six, seven, eight, nine go down, and then start picking themselves back up. 